Hi, this is Don, and today I'm going to show you a simple 3D effect in Photoshop. Uh, I get a lot of requests for 3D, and the fact of the matter is Photoshop isn't a 3D program, so in the sense of actual 3D, you can't really uh, get that effect like uh, putting something on an axis and being able to rotate it and things like that. It just uh, I have heard of some pro some uh, plugins that will be coming out soon, so we may see uh, something similar to that, but uh, the fact of the matter is Photoshop is a two-dimensional program, so you just can't get uh, that kind of effect. But what I'm going to be showing you today uh, will work great for signatures and I think uh, like outdoor family photos, things like that. So what I'm going to do is open up this picture of these row of houses. I like this picture because uh, the houses are all different colors. They stand out real well. If you think of this like a, a football field, you can really see which what's in front of what. We have, uh, you know, we have our five houses, and then we have our our woods in the very in the very back of the background. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a. Uh, this isn't going to be really. Uh, cut out real well so uh, our polygonal lasso tool will work just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the first house here and uh, put it in a selection of its own and so what that'll do is anything that we do to the picture will not affect, well actually in this it will affect only the yellow house. Uh, you go outside of your canvas and go back around to where you started. As I said, this will affect everything inside the yellow, where the yellow house is, and we want to affect everything on the outside of the yellow house. So what we're going to do is we're going to inverse our selection by going to select and inverse. Now everything that we do is going to uh, affect everything except for the yellow house. Okay, what I'm going to do now is grab our blur tool. We're going to make sure it's set at 100% and normal, and I'm using about 175 pixels for this and we're just going to blur out everything in the background just go over it uh, just single la uh, single lines so that you get the same amount of blur uh, throughout the whole picture I'm going to go over this uh, twice and get a nice thin blur going in the background and you kind of see what we're doing already all we're going to do is uh, we're going to create, uh, if you remember Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood at the very beginning, the uh, the introduction, you saw some little toy houses. That's kind of the effect that we're going for. We're going to make the houses look more like, uh, like toys or models for a train set. Okay, so now we're going to take our polygonal lasso tool again, and we're going to add to our selection. But since we've inversed it, we need to select the uh, subtract from our selection instead of add to our selection. So now we'll cut out our second house, and as you see, we have this antenna pole going up, and you want to make sure you cut anything like that out. If it's uh, again, think of it as like a football field. If it's at the uh, if it's at that point at, on the ground, then you want to cut it out. Uh, and don't leave it in because it, it will mess up the whole picture. It'll make uh, the top of it will be blurry, and the rest of it will be clear. So you want to make sure you get all that in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finished cutting out this house and with our first house we cut out the house by itself and we left out the pavement but with this one we're going to go straight across uh, again just like a football field just think of it as lines going across so that you get your uh, you get your background the same okay so now I'm going to grab my blur tool again and I'm going to go over the rest of the the rest of the photo and this time we're going to go over it about three times we we want to get a progressive blur going in the background for for each layer for each uh, for each layer of distance that we have so I'm gonna go over this about three times and again I uh, I like this effect for signatures uh, your main character in a signature or something like that you can have him uh, completely in focus and then gradually uh, blur out or, or bring the focus back for for uh, depth in the background and again uh, I like this for outside photos for you know family things stuff like that if you're having a picnic or something like that you can have uh, all the subjects in focus and the background uh, blurred a little bit <clears throat> excuse me and uh, 
it probably wouldn't work too great for indoor pictures unless you had a whole lot of light because this really does depend on uh, the brightness in the picture. If everything in the picture is dark, it's not going to come out. It's, it's harder to tell where the blur starts and where it ends. Of course, uh, it can be done. I'm not saying it can't be done. It's just uh, it works a lot better with brighter pictures. And as you see in this picture, it's kind of an overcast, so the, uh, the brightness of the houses, the color of the houses works really well with this. Okay, now we're uh, blurring out a good four or five times over our, our, after our third house is cut out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut out our fourth house with the polygonal lasso tool. And as you see, this is just, uh, it's really simple. It's a real simple way to do it. Um, if you have like a row of cars or something like that, you can go each car or uh, you really just have to think about what is in front of what and and put it on a graph in your head and uh, and use that as as what you're going to blur uh, as and what amount you're going to blur it. So uh, now we're going everything behind our fourth house and as you see we're going to go over it pretty well a good five or six or seven times. Uh, you don't really have to be real neat. Everything that's outside of the selection is not going to get blurred anyway. So, <coughs> And now we'll cut out our last house. And after we cut out our last house, instead of using the blur tool on the very background with the woods, what we're going to use is the uh, Gaussian blur. So if you'll go to your filters and uh, blur and then Gaussian blur, we're going to set our Gaussian blur for uh, 10 pixels. Yeah, let me. And like I say, this is uh, it's a it's a good effect for some things. It's not a great effect for uh, as long as you have a good background. And let me bring in my blur box from the other monitor. Okay, we're going to go with 10. 10 pixels of blur and uh, now you see the uh, the background is very blurred now we're going to take our, our blur again and we're going to make our brush a lot smaller and we're just going to blur out you can't really see it in this video but where your selection line was you'll see a little bit of line where the separation in the blur and is so we're just going to go over that line and blur it into the picture you don't want to blur out your houses or anything like that you just want to blur the the line in. Okay, now after this what we're going to do is if you want to make it seem even more uh, like a model or like toys, uh, what we're going to do is create some shadows behind each house. Uh, that's pretty simple, just uh, create it, just go ahead and, and put your selection back up for each house and uh, just create a new layer and on that layer from the top of the house behind the one you're shadowing just uh, spray in some some soft brush black and then use your opacity turn your opacity down uh, somewhere between 30 and 35 percent and then you can use your blur tool to blur out the black or uh, it'd probably be even better to use a Gaussian blur on each layer of your of your black shadows and uh, use the Gaussian blur to blur the shadows out I'm going to leave them a little thick here and due to time constraints I'm just going to go ahead and, and finish them out. But you see I'm using the blur to uh, blur out the, the shadows. And you probably wouldn't be able to see them as well if I used the Gaussian blur but <clears throat> in an actual picture you would be able to see it very well and it, and it really does work out a lot better. Okay so we're finished now and this is our, uh, this is our before picture and I'll show you this is what it looks like afterwards and you see it kind of gives it a a three-dimensional effect uh, like a like train models or something like that so I hope you uh, hope you like this tutorial and I uh, hope this helps you out a lot uh, like I say you can uh, <clears throat> use it in different ways for uh, signatures or uh, photos in the backyard or something like that. Thank you very much.